plant can make thousands of chemicals. Therefore, you have to find which one of those chemicals is the active ingredient that is causing the interference with cell division, for example. And that's exactly how anti-cancer drugs have been discovered over the past. Oftentimes, they were accidents. They were looking for one biological process and they found another one. When cancer cells divide, they have to produce certain uh, components that are responsible for cell division. We call these uh, the spindle apparatus. Once the division has taken place, you have to have the duplicated chromosomes that have to be separated from one another. And so these chemicals, they actually bind to the spindle apparatus and interfere with the separation of these cells. And as a result, you stop cell division. And once you stop cell division, those cells are no longer able to proliferate rapidly, which is one of the big properties of cancer cells. A lot of it is trying to understand the vast diversity of chemical structures that you find in nature, and then trying to associate that with the biological properties of these chemicals. Uh, plants are not normally producing chemicals that prevent their consumption by other organisms. And usually these are highly toxic compounds that people study. And once they start studying them, they start to look at how they affect cellular processes. And as a result, uh, you find something that's active and you send it down a particular pipeline. Once the drug has been identified, usually organic chemists will get involved and will modify the drug so that they can increase its effectiveness against cancer and at the same time attenuate its uh, side reactions and the other activities that it has so that it becomes safer to use in the cancer treatment.